everybody and welcome to another amazing video of DIY investing. I'm really excited to bring you guys this update because we're going to be talking about some new projects that either have just barely released or getting really close to releasing or about a month or two away because if your guys are looking for the best opportunities in the market, the only way to know that is by finding the projects before they ever even hit the market and that's how the majority of the profit is generated. So I'm going to be breaking down five of my favorite picks. So make sure you stay all the way to the end so you don't miss out on any of these altcoin picks. At any point you find value, please do me a favor hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these videos once again if you guys do want to end up seeing how i'm investing my portfolio long term links are in the description to go ahead and sign up for my vip on my website right off the bat i wanted to talk about the first project today that recently launched and it basically did a 16x within the first 10 or 15 minutes. So that's why I say that if you're trying to get early to uh, cryptos and make the most profit possible, you basically have to follow along with what projects are coming to the market, what ones are about to release, because if you're able to, you're basically getting in all the way at the very beginning of this before the big green candle comes in. So I think that that's the big opportunity if we can get in, because there is a lot more upside potential, especially considering even if we correct it down in here, we're gonna see these things have a new cycle and the upside potential is just absolutely massive if you can afford to get in. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the new projects coming to the market that I think are going to be ones you want to be paying attention to because the upside potential is just going to be really big. The first one on today's video is going to be XSwap. And this is basically the very first incubated project by Chainlink. And it's part of the Chainlink CCIP program. Now, for guys that don't know, I've broke it down a lot. I have actually covered XSwap a few different times, but they have a significant community, already almost 75,000 followers. Being the first project actually incubated by Chainlink, the big thing I want you guys to understand is Chainlink has a huge amount of supply of link tokens and it's worth billions of dollars that they're looking to invest in a new projects to bolster their ecosystem and make sure that they get a lot more adoption long term. So in a lot of ways, Chainlink themselves has become their own layer one and we're going to see a lot of new projects launching over there. And this is the first one in the process. And so when we're talking about XSwap, this is one I've been talking a little bit about for the last while. And what we saw, it was actually sold out on Ape Terminal within 53 seconds. So if anybody ended up getting access to that, shout out to you. If you didn't, you can actually participate in this current sale that's gonna be taking place for the next three days. And you can participate in that on this link over on Ford Foundry. I'm gonna link it in the description for anybody that wants to get access. If you are unable to get access to this, just keep in mind that it will get listed on the secondary market in the same way that Satoshi Sync did. And generally, you can get in uh, after we go through a corrective phase. Some of them correct more than others. It's kind of impossible to know how much we correct, but there's always an opportunity to get in at the secondary market regardless. So if you're American, if you can't get into the actual sell itself, just be aware of that. There's still gonna be plenty of opportunity regardless of where you're at. But these guys announce a new partner every single day. They just partnered with Polygon Ventures, which actually connects them to a lot of different projects inside of Polygon. Coming over here, this is once again gonna be the very first cross chain swap. So this is the big thing that I see value in going into the next cycle. Any project that's tapping into the cross chain space, being able to unite every blockchain together. Notice how we have XSwap and we can process money through every single one of these chains. Polygon, uh, Optimism, Binance, uh, BSC, all of these different chains, we can now use one sort of intermediary to do all of that for us. And that's what the whole value of Chainlink is. It's a cross-chain protocol. Uh, the entire value of Chainlink is to unite every blockchain together. So with Chainlink investing into these new projects, I mean, with how big Chainlink is, you got to imagine that the very first project that Chainlink is incubating is also going to do really well. So I'm going to link this in the description for anybody that wants to get access. This is the closest one to actually hit the secondary market. Next up is going to be Mint Labs. This is going to be a really cool cross-chain NFT solution that I, in my opinion, is going to see a lot of adoption because what we're looking at here is it integrating with Layer Zero. Layer Zero is going to be a huge chain that blows up over the next few months. They're going to have a really big airdrop. A lot of people are already farming for that airdrop and you guys actually could farm for it now if you just do a little bit of research. Now with this being a cross-chain NFT solution, I really don't see how it doesn't do really well, mainly just because of the fact when we're coming over here, what a cross-chain NFT would do is it taps you into a bigger community because instead of only building on Ethereum or something, you're building into all of these other chains at the same time. Crowdfunding, the opportunity to gather more money for your project that you're raising because of the fact you can get multiple different chains to fund at the same time. 
Boosting sales cross-chain NFT collection allows NFT holders to mint and trade NFTs across different blockchains. That's the big thing. You know, all of these blockchains are different. They don't communicate value with each other. And it's the new projects that are ultimately bridging those gaps that are going to see the most adoption this cycle. And so I've got a lot of confidence when we're looking at Mint Labs. Now, the way it would work is you apply and schedule a meeting with the team. They would look at how to implement it. And then they would launch your NFT collection. And then the sell profit would actually be shared with you and the Mint Labs team. So I think that that's going to be something that's really cool. We can come over here and actually launch the app itself. And you can kind of see a little bit how it works. They have all of these different uh, collections. These are upcoming sales and mints. So any project that's allowing us to actually mint, I think that that's going to see a lot of adoption because it's kind of what OpenSea did, but OpenSea never had an actual token, right? When we're talking about this, I think Mint Labs is for sure one of the very best up and coming projects. I wanted to share this one with you guys because I know it's going to blow up. I already have almost 130,000 followers on Twitter. They partnered with one of my favorite projects over on Arbitrum being Gains Network. And I only see these guys continue to get more adoption from here. So check out Mint Labs. I'll link them in the description as well. Coming over here, the next NFT project I want to talk about, and really I wouldn't even so much as call this an NFT project as it is more of a real world asset. So when we're talking about RWAs, these are going to be a huge narrative that blows up in the next cycle. And this is going to have one of the biggest partnerships I've ever seen for an up and coming project, basically partnered with BrewDog and Google. And BrewDog, these guys have uh, all these partnerships across the entire world, very connected inside of the Brew space and so I do think that with that partnership we're gonna see a lot of adoption coming this way and with Google Google's investing into a lot of new web 3 projects that are up and coming it's part of their vision to ultimately grow and scale web 3 and this is one of the projects that they have actually done so with now this is a vodka brand and the cool thing I think about with the token being intertwined with it is the sales generated from the actual vodka right here it goes back into the buyback and burn of the token for drink so it's gonna be super deflationary and I would imagine these guys do generate a lot of profit profit. The thing about this is it's an $800 billion industry, the alcohol industry is, and we've never seen any crypto projects actually tapping into that. And with them having such a huge backing with the brewing industry already with BrewDog, I have a lot of confidence that this token itself could do really well. And they do have an entire NFT ecosystem as well. So by minting the uh, NFTs, you can actually get different drink allocations, and then you can get access to all of these different insider events, whether they're hosting different sort of events, whether it's in a bar, well, it would be at a bar, but different social clubs and things like that. That's where we're going to be able to meet up if you're owning these different NFT collections. And I do think that there's a lot of value in all of that stuff because anybody that's bridging real world assets, for those that don't know what an RWA is, we have cars, we have houses, we have real world uh, things that aren't on the blockchain yet. And so what these guys are doing is tokenizing the brewing industry, tokenizing the brand around their DGEN distillery uh, vodka, the 721 vodka, and that's what they're gonna be doing to make profit and generating profits back to the token, basically buying and burning the token from the profits generated from the drink sales. So I do think that this is gonna be a real big project to watch for. I honestly don't see a lot of NFT projects that are tapping into real world assets. And I kind of see that that's the value of nfts that's the value of a lot of tokens is being able to bridge real world things into the blockchain space so dgen distillery one of my favorite picks linking it in the description because they've got one of the best partnerships i've ever seen with a new and upcoming project i definitely think you guys should be paying attention to them next up is going to be photon photon is going to be a layer two building on bitcoin they're going to be implementing celestia which is actually one of the biggest sort of narratives i've seen blow up this cycle with the coin tia you know over on the cosmos chain and all of that we've seen a a lot of adoption taking place over there and the issue really with bitcoin is the same scalability as ethereum i just saw the other day it was like a hundred dollars to send a bitcoin transaction and that's just not feasible for the average person so we're going to see the same narrative of layer twos that blew up on eth blowing up over here on the bitcoin chain but the value of bitcoin if we come over here and look at the tvl of all of the chains in crypto bitcoin's ranked 10th bitcoin only has 1.2 billion in tvl uh, Ethereum has 66 billion, so like, you know, 60 times more TVL than what we see down here inside of Bitcoin. Yet Bitcoin has three times the market cap, if not more than that, than Ethereum. So I think that there's a significant opportunity for projects building over on the Bitcoin chain because Bitcoin has way more money in market cap. There's way more money invested into Bitcoin that could ultimately easily drive over to the Bitcoin network on that chain, buy these different BRC20 tokens, buy these Bitcoin ordinal NFTs and things like that. And so any of the new projects that are building over there, I think are going to see a significant amount of adoption because there's just more money that can go into the Bitcoin's network 
and go into those altcoins and they're more undervalued than some of these other chains so i think that's going to be a huge advantage for anybody that's early to these and when we're looking at photon the big uh, thing that i see with this if we scroll down this is going to kind of explain a little bit about why layer twos are valuable. You have inscriptions, you have DEXs, lending, real world assets, games, social fi, NFTs, stable coins, anything. That's the importance. The reason why Arbitrum blew up on Ethereum is because they can build an entire new ecosystem. Layer ones blew up in the last couple cycles because of the fact Ethereum came on scene, allowed for a way for us to program and build and issue our own smart contracts and issue ERC20 tokens have these ICOs and things like that. And it really bolstered a lot of new growth in the ecosystem. And now we have hundreds, if not thousands of these layer ones that are existing. And there's a lot of these ecosystems that are gonna be built inside of them. So, you know, Ethereum, it's got the scalability issues. So layer twos came onto the scene. Layer twos help scale the issues of Ethereum. But now we have Bitcoin's chain. So now Bitcoin has a lot of scalability issues. And this is really why I see a lot of value taking place inside of the layer two narrative as a whole. But these guys are positioning themselves perfectly they're really early to that narrative and i only see a lot of value coming into this project long term so with this offering the ability for any project in crypto to build over here it's only going to bolster the photon token itself which in this entire chain in my opinion is going to do really really well so i'd pay attention they're partnered with satoshi sync which was the first project we talked about over here that did 16x at launch i would highly recommend paying attention to every single one of these projects but photon is one i'm interested in because i'm really interested in a lot of these different layer twos and i'm interested in any layer two that's building on the bitcoin chain now you guys can actually go ahead and join into this airdrop for anybody that does want to participate in the photon airdrop all you're going to need to do is complete all of these different tasks it tells you every single thing that you're going to need to do if you end up referring any of your friends then you also are going to get access to even more of the airdrop so i'm going to link all of this in the description for anybody that wants to end up getting access to that airdrop i kind of have a feeling that once this airdrop goes live there's going to be a huge amount of hype generated over here so complete your tasks you know get access to that airdrop i think that this is a really solid project and just be aware that any project launching over on the bitcoin chain has a lot of adoption potential with how much money exists over on bitcoin as a whole next up is going to be cosmic factions this is going to be a game five project that i'm excited about mainly because of the fact you know when we're talking about building games nobody knows how to build games unless you're like a heavy developer you know you actually know how to code and things like that most people don't and i would love to be able to build a game and what we're seeing with you know when i was a kid we had flash games right and i was playing a lot of flash games flash no longer exists so those don't exist but I kind of see a lot of the same similarities between blockchain games and flash games. Um, it kind of reminds me a lot of the same quality. However, I think that there's more opportunity for a lot of these gaming projects because they're tapping into the, the kid market, you know, the people that are playing these video games the most. And I think that that's where we're going to see a lot of adoption with any of the projects that can actually bridge into not only the financial space being crypto and finances, but coming over here and getting into the normal world where, you know, nobody actually cares about finances. They're just looking to play some games. So these guys are going to have their own no code engine powered by AI. So what that means is I no longer have to know how to code in order to build my own game. I can actually use their engine to be able to do it all for me. So I see so much value in that. I see so much value in crypto gaming as a whole. And I wanted to come over to their website and share with you guys a few things because it's really beautiful, the type of stuff that you're actually going to get access to. So they're going to have their own NFTs, their own sort of skins and digital items, their own metaverse. And I'm pretty sure they even have their own. Yeah, they have an NFT launch pad as well. So you're going to be able to get access to exclusive mints taking place over here on their launch pad. And then they have the drag and drop game builder. That was kind of the AI thing that we were talking about earlier so that we can build our own games. And to me, that's awesome because I would love to be able to build my own game. I had an idea for a blockchain game for years and years at this point, you know, before blockchain, I even knew what it was. But realistically, I think that blockchain gaming is going to be huge. And I would love to be able to build my own games over here. And that's kind of why I see value in this is any project that offers an ecosystem where new projects can launch in, whether it's an NFT collection or a token itself. And now we can actually build our own tokens. It's basically like the Ethereum of gaming, right? So it's the same thing. I can make my own sort of ecosystem inside of Cosmic Factions and it's only going to benefit Cosmic Factions as a whole and the Cosmic and the cosmic holders so the next thing is going to be the metaverse that's still coming soon but they're basically positioned to capture a lot of that hype and adoption inside of the gaming uh and nft space so i would be watching out for cosmic factions 
The big thing that I would be watching for would mainly be their Twitter page, keeping the notifications on with all of these different projects. The token for this is going to be called Cosmic right here. And so that's what we're going to be wanting to pay attention for. All of these are going to be coming to different sort of launch pads. They're going to get incubated. They're going to be going through different cells. And if anybody's able to get access to those, like I shared with you at the first of this video, we oftentimes see these things almost instantly provide, you know, really big gains. And if you're willing to hold these things all the way through, oftentimes that's where you see the biggest ROI in all of your portfolio. So I'm going to link all the information in the description of this video so you guys can find it. With that being said, you know, thank you guys so much for the support. Wanted to give you guys some of the different altcoins ones I'm watching, ones that I'm personally investing in because I do see a lot of value with being into these projects early before they really take off. So if you do want to check it out, I'm going to provide all the information. If you guys do want to end up seeing how to actually invest into my portfolio, anything I'm buying, selling, and trading over this cycle, links are in the description to go ahead and check out my website below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace out.